I know that Icons of a Childhood was supposed to release today or sometime this week, but the fact of the matter is, is that there's a lot of issues going on surrounding the project, so I'll let you all know what's going on with that in a future video. But for right now, just enjoy the Sonic video. Hello everyone, it's me, Anthony. Um, I've never done anything like this before, but the Sonic trailer has finally come out and I love it. It is an amazing trailer, and I'm so glad that they fixed, you know, that abomination. Now, I bet you're all wondering, what did I like about the trailer to like it so much? Well, a couple things, actually. First, let's get the most obvious like about the trailer out of the way. Sonic's design is Sonic. He doesn't look like an abomination made from hell. He looks like Sonic ripped straight from the games just with a few realistic touches. Some people may have differing opinions when it comes to Sonic's blue arms or separated eyes, but I think these changes are for the better. In fact, I think Sonic's kind of cute, kind of like a puppy in this trailer. Another thing that I think the trailer hit really well was the comedy. In my opinion, the comedy has been pretty funny, and I laughed a couple times during the trailer. I know a lot of other people are going to take issue with sometimes Sonic's making very, very stupid jokes. And plus, Sonic seems a little annoying in the trailer, but I feel like these changes are somewhat okay. And it didn't piss me off, it just made me like the trailer. Something I can think all of us can agree on is the music choice. The music choice in the first trailer, Gangster's Paradise, did not fit with the style the trailer was going for at all. And combined with the abomination that we had in the last trailer, it made for a very unfitting and unlikable trailer. But this new trailer has Blitzkrieg Bop from, well, I don't know, look up the song. And it sounds really good. It fits with the tone that Sonic is going for. Now, was there anything I disliked in the trailer? Well, yeah. The amount of times Sonic talked and talked was a little obnoxious. But I understand that's part of his character. So maybe that's just a personal preference for how much he's talking. But it kind of bothered me in some ways. Another thing that bothered me about the trailer was the CGI at times. I understand that it's very hard to make a blue hedgehog that runs fast look realistic, but there were some shots where it looked like a cartoon and it looked very unrealistic. Still, I'll take an unrealistic blue hedgehog that looks likable rather than an abomination that looks like it wants to kill me in my sleep. Now, what about the actors? The actors all looked like they were doing a fine job. The guy who's playing Sonic is doing a really good job. And if he keeps this up, he may end up being one of my favorite Sonic voice actors ever. The guy who's going to be with Sonic throughout the entire story, eh, I don't really care. He looks kind of under-interesting, but in terms of acting, he's doing a decent job. Jim Carrey steals the show in nearly every shot he's in, much like the original trailer. He's nearly the best thing about the trailer, and he is hilarious. I'm a huge fan of Jim Carrey, and I can't wait to see him do his best in this work. One of the best things about the trailer at the beginning was the fans getting ready to see a real look at Green Hill Zone in the movie. It was a phenomenal thing to see and I was so happy that the developers of the movie put it in. It looked absolutely incredible and I hope to see more of it. The film may not look like anything remarkable. In fact, if you're a casual viewer, it probably looks like one of those generic animal slash cop buddy stories. But to Sonic fans, and I think people who just like Sonic in general, it was a phenomenal trailer because it fixed a beloved character that looked like he got shit on by the time the last trailer came out. It was such a huge deal that so many people got up early to see it, myself included. I woke up at 6 in the morning to see the trailer. But the question is, will it be the best video game movie in general, and can it be a great film in of itself? Eh, uh, no. I don't think it will be. I still think that critics and regular people are gonna hate on the movie and not really enjoy it. Kids are gonna go see it, like it, and it's gonna get a ton of merchandise. But, as an actual movie, I don't think it'll find success. But, if the movie does turn out good, that'll be great. Either way, you can find me at the theater when the movie does come out, and I'll enjoy every minute of it. One little thing I wanted to add to the end of this video was that even though, or even if the movie turns out to be bad, I'm still going to go see it because I have a ton of respect for the team that worked behind this movie. The fact that they took fan feedback from the original trailer and redid the entire movie 
in order for it to be the best it can be. That's some straight up greatness there. There are tons of companies out there that will either tell the fans to shut up or just enjoy what they put out. And that's not how it works. Either you make a good product and people will go see it or it's going to be some shit and it's going to and no one's going to go see it. The two Star Wars films prior were kind of like this. Well, not the two Star Wars movies, The Last Jedi. People didn't really want to go see it after the backlash from the movie came out. But the company behind that movie, Lucasfilm, were bashing P fans who didn't want to see the movie just because they didn't want to see it. The Sonic movie is not like this. They could have very easily put out the product they were going to and just left it at that. But they took fan feedback and I have a ton of respect for the team that did that. And for that, the movie will get my support. Imagine what they would have done to Knuckles if he was in the movie. <laughs>